Good morning. Day 360, uh, 237. My coffee pot broke. It's not working. Oh no. Well. <laughs> All right, I guess no coffee chat this morning. So I'll be back later. Okay. <laughs> I've moved to plan B. I'm using my iced coffee maker to make a cup of hot coffee because it does make hot coffee before you ice it. Oh boy. <laughs> anyway. I don't know. I don't even know what to say. <clears throat> Oh well, minor details. Anyway, uh, I'm going to enjoy my coffee this morning, even if it's from a different coffee maker. I'm so disappointed in my little coffee maker. I love that little thing. The um, There's a little plastic part that, I don't know, must have melted from the coffee. But anyway, I have another one at the boat that I will bring home and I'll use that one. So anyway, um, this morning I'm not sure yet what I'm having for breakfast. Um, we'll take a look in the fridge and it's going to be about 76 degrees today. We're unseasonably cold or cool for uh, August this year. And like I said, I hope that's not an indication of how the winter's going to be because I don't like the cold. But it's nice for working in the garden. So, and I have a few errands to run today, so I don't know how much I'll get done. I'll try and work on my dining room a little bit, finish up a few things in my kitchen. My living room is looking pretty good. Um, I still haven't gotten rid of the two chairs, and I'm thinking I'm probably just going to keep one. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, so plan B worked. I have some hot coffee. Yay. But I'm not going to ice it. I'm just going to drink it hot this morning. Oh, that looks really strong. I think I'm going to have to add some water to that. All right, it's a learning process. I forgot, since it makes iced coffee, it's really, really strong coffee. So I'll have to adjust the amount of coffee that I put in there. So I just added some water. And hopefully I'll be able to drink it. It looks, still looks kind of strong, but you know, when life takes a turn, you got to check out the road and make adjustments. <laughs> so anyway, this has not been my most stellar morning coffee chat. I'll be back in a little bit, and we'll see what's for breakfast, and hopefully the rest of the day goes a little better. <laughs> All right, coffee chat time. I did get a cup. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, boy. I don't like when my morning starts out that way. But it's pretty tasty. So this morning I'm doing my nails, and... Sometimes what I do is I just take clippers and clip them off, even with the polish on. And then I'll take the polish off and repolish them. It helps me gauge how long I want to keep my nails when they're partially, at least, polished. So, I was thinking this morning that maybe it's... A good thing to have multiples of whatever. You know, you might not want to get rid of everything and just have one of everything. Maybe two of everything would be better 
in case something happens like with my coffee maker this morning. I don't know. Like I said, I'll never be a minimalist. Uh, I love the idea of that lifestyle. It's so simple. It's easy to clean. You don't have so many choices. You know, you have a minimal wardrobe, you have minimal furniture, you have minimal cleaning. Everything is at a totally different level than actually your average person or your maximal maximal list. So I don't really consider myself a maximalist, but I do have a lot of stuff. And, and you know, I'm working on it. You guys have seen a lot of the things that I have. So I'm trying to find a happy medium. But then, like I said this morning, um, it got me to thinking that I might want to not get rid of everything and maybe keep more than one of something like coffee makers. Now I have a, a drip coffee maker. It's a Cuisinart and um, I paid a lot for it. I've had it for years and it has the coffee grinder in it and it, it's got the carafe, you know, but it, it's a really nice coffee maker. But I'm trying to, on my counter, have something just small and quick. So, I mean, it would be great if you have a, a party or something to use the Cuisinart, but I don't want to get rid of that because, like I said, I paid a lot for it, and it does a great job. And, you know, you never know. Down the road, I may decide to become a coffee aficionado and grind my own beans, and it really does a nice job. I mean, the, the coffee maker actually grinds the beans, so I don't even know if they make those anymore. I imagine they do. But anyway, those are my thoughts for this morning. Um, lesson learned with my coffee maker. Have a plan B. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking I want to make a batch of kombucha soon, too. And when I do, I'll make a video of it. I do have a video of my kombucha making way back in the archives somewhere. You know, if, you, if you're interested in that and you do a search it, while you're on my channel for kombucha, it, it'll bring those up. Same with the sourdough bread. Um, but that's all things that I'm thinking I want to do in the winter and in the colder months because... I won't have any outdoor things to do. I don't have to worry about snow removal because we pay an association fee and they snow plow the driveway and you know they they shovel the stairs and so that's not a problem and I really don't have sidewalks in front of my house. It, it's just a, it's a cul-de-sac so so that's taken care of in the winter. Yes, it cost me some money, but I figured as I get older, I would need to pay for those services anyway. So, um, and it's, it's not an exorbitant amount that we pay here where I live. So, um, my garden is looking okay now. Um, yesterday I posted a video of what I've done with it. And my tomatoes are starting to get ripe. I think I can actually um, pick a couple today. And um, hopefully um, I'll get some yield out of my garden. My main objective wasn't to have so much food that I need to can it or freeze it or, you know. My main objective was when I planted this garden was to have enough food for the gardening season. You know, in other words, have enough greens and have enough uh, tomatoes and peppers to get me through the summer. And it's a bonus if I get more, you know, extra, then I, I will freeze those. I have all the canning equipment. Of course I do, because I have everything. But I really don't like to can. It, it kind, of, kind of scares me. So do you guys can if you do. 
uh, give me a little pep talk in the comments below about it's no big deal, you can do it, you know. So, um, anyway, my dilemma this morning led me to this chat. So, um, tomorrow the um, donation people are coming. So I do have to get some more donations together for them. And I'm thinking a quick go through my closet might be in order. And I keep doing that. And I keep letting go of more and more and more. Because I have so many clothes still. And I had so many, it was absolutely ridiculous. So it's, it's getting to be a little better. <clears throat> but... Uh, yeah, and lately, I don't know if it's allergies or, but, you know, I keep having to clear my throat, which is very annoying. But, uh, so, anyway, that's all for my chat so far. I'm going to take you into my refrigerator in a little bit, and we'll see what's for breakfast. All right, I'll be okay, back. Okay, well, let's see what's for breakfast. Uh, I have quite a bit of bread now, so I'm going to have some bread. And I think I will have a toasted cheese sandwich. I think I'm going to make it with this Colby Jack. Going to keep it simple this morning because I have to go run some errands. Okay, I think that's good. I will meet you at the stove. All right, so here is my breakfast, day 237. Just a cut up apple and a toasted cheese and apples and cheese go well together. So another thing gone out of the fridge, all my fruit. Um, and we'll see what's on the menu for dinner. I'm not sure. I still have leftovers. But I might want something different because I've eaten those two days in a row. All right, I'll be back Hello. later. So I'm having some afternoon coffee, and I just got back from one of my errands. And I picked up a few things while I was out, uh, and I'll share that with you. That coffee was pretty good out of the other machine, but I did go pick up my other little coffee maker. So I stopped at Dollar Tree. Family Dollar, and I ran into Aldi's. They're all in the same area. So I'll show you what I got from Aldi's first. So I figured since I was there, I got my favorite cheese, and yes, they, they did have it. And that was um, four, $4.59, it looks like. And that has the... Um, Extra sharp white cheddar, Havarti, Gouda, and Asiago. So I got that. Then in their uh, home section, they had these extension cords. And the reason I got them is because they have the flat plug. So like I said this morning, I'm trying to rearrange my electrical thing so it doesn't look so terrible. So you get three of them. The cords are nine feet. It's got three outlets, um, and it's tangle free. And that was nine thirty nine. So I thought that was a pretty good price, because the flat uh, head ones are always more expensive than the ones that stick out. So I got that. And then I needed some batteries for my uh, electric candles, and those were three forty nine. So at all these, I spent all together uh, nineteen dollars and forty five cents. 
So then I went to um, Family Dollar, and I had actually gone to look for a certain kind of dog treats, but of course they didn't have them, so I didn't get any dog treats. Um, but I did get my daughter an owl mug. I have one here for her that she always uses, so I got her one that she can use at her house. So that was three dollars, and then I got this pasta for a dollar, and it's the Chestnut Hill brand. I've never tried that before, but it's pasta. So I got four of those. I got a spaghetti, a rotini, and two elbows because I use a lot of elbow pasta. So that was that, and altogether at Family Dollar, I spent $7.24. So I didn't think that was bad. Then I stopped at Dollar Tree because um, I wanted to get a birthday card for my best friend. Her birthday's on the 24th. So I got this card from all of us. So, and she has a dog too. She has actually the brother of Lizzie. So, um, I got that. And this is what I went for too. These three plug outlets. And I got two of those because um, in my bathroom um, I have those, uh, what is it, GFI plugs. And you can't plug the bigger outlet things in there so this it's grounded so this um, this is going up in my bathroom so I was happy they only had two left so I grabbed both of them I would have gotten a couple more but they didn't have any more then yes this is um, coconut eggnog and it smells really good smell <laughs> oh yeah you can't smell anything Anyway, I got that, and I'm going to be burning a lot of candles in the winter. I always do, so I'll go through them. And then they had these again. They didn't have these for a while. These uh, Luminescence uh, Apple Cinnamon, uh, they're the votives, and they look like they're still the same size, so of course they're a quarter more. So I got one pack of those. Then I got this little sign to remind me to relax. So that will be going in my living room somewhere because that's what I do in there. And then I got this, they had these notebooks. Not that I need notebooks, but I like this one because it's small and I want to use this for my YouTube uh, videos for ideas and you know so that's what it looks like and there are two sided pages so there's 80 pages 80 sheets and 160 pages so I'm going to use this is going to be my YouTube notebook where I make notes about what I want to talk about and then on do it on a dime she had a short posted about using pine sol for different things. So I just got a little bottle of it. I mean, she had all kinds of uses, keeping flies away and putting it in her laundry and just stuff like that. So I got that and a little spray bottle to put it in. And then last but not least, I got this bouquet of um, orange florals because in my dining room I have a bouquet on the table and it's blues and stuff and I want to put more of this in and these are the colors that are in my tablecloth sort of a dark purple and orange so I got two of those and I'm going to be cutting those off and just randomly sticking those in the bouquet. 
So I'll show you the bouquet that those are going in. And that's all I bought at Dollar Tree. And I spent uh, $14.58. So I sure do miss that dollar price tag. That was really awesome. But you can still get some good deals there. Um, so let me show you the bouquet that I'm going to put those in. Okay, this bouquet was all purples and blues. So I had this in my garage, so I stuck that in there. But I want to use the um, smaller flowers and randomly stick them here and there. So that's why I got those. And then I had, a, um, my grandson got a bouquet of um, the orange flowers and they had these in them. So the flowers are gone, but I ended up pulling these and sticking those in there. I thought that looked kind of nice. So that's where those will be going uh, because I'm starting to work on my dining room now. So, okay, uh, I'll be back later with a little dinner. Okay, I'm back again. So, I had a fellow here. He's a, actually a friend of my kids. Uh, and he was fixing my light switch. I had a bad light switch. <laughs> yep, that too, in the bathroom. And it was uh, needed to be fixed because things like that make me a little nervous. You don't want to have a fire. So I'm just going to have a salad. I've kind of been running around and doing things all day. I don't like days like that, but sometimes you have to do it. So I'm just going to have a quick salad for dinner. And uh, call it a night. Except I have to clean a couple of my my recliners. They're up for sale on Marketplace and I want to clean them up a little bit because I have people that are supposed to come and look at it tomorrow. And the gal that wants to buy my Christmas dishes, she's still interested and she wants to buy the serving dishes too so I have to get those packed up. So it's like one thing after another. When it rains it pours. But that's okay. I hope I get them sold. A little less out of the house. And uh, the more I do this purging, the easier it gets. And the easier it is to let go of things. So I'm going to cut up one of my little onions from the garden. Probably only half, because this isn't a huge salad. And then that's that. So I will be back in a little bit. Once I get this all, all done, I'm going to put the onion in. I have a cucumber chopped up here. Um, I have some coleslaw, so I'll be putting a little of that in. And um, I have some peppers and celery. So it's a, it's a mixed veggie salad. That's one thing I like about soups and salads. You can put anything in there that you want. All right, I'll be back shortly. Okay, so here is dinner. It has egg and coleslaw that I chopped up, some tomato I had chopped up, all kinds of different uh, veggies. Um, so that's going to be dinner tonight, and that looks really refreshing to me. And I'm going to put this Italian three cheese on there and uh, call that dinner. All right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I still have to clean that chair, which is like the last thing I feel like doing. But uh, if somebody's interested in buying it, then that's what I have to do. So in the meantime, I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself, be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.